Yo, what's going on? My name is Ben Runyon, uh, aka City Rain, which is the music uh, alias that I operate under, which I have been for about 10 years now. Uh, I'm a musician, a performer, a teacher of Ableton Live, working at a school in New York called the Fox Grove, uh, where I operate out of. I've been teaching at Apple for some time, and I'm certified in Logic 10. Ableton Live is my uh, main uh, digital audio workstation, the one that I'm most passionate about, which is the tutorial that I'm going to be uh, delivering today. So one of the things that makes Ableton Live so great and so amazing is its ability to be used as an instrument and just not a means for recording in a linear way. So there's many uh, modes or options that you, settings that you can make in Ableton. So set it up as though Ableton itself is the instrument. So one of the modes that I want to talk about today is called gate mode. So each one of these little empty squares or rectangles rather in an audio channel is where different clips or loops can be dropped, not on like a garage band or a, uh, you know, name something on iOS or Android apps uh, where you can drop in loops. And then there's MIDI clips as well that you could drop in. So traditionally speaking, you can, let's say, drop in a drum loop and play, and it'll play, and we'll play until you uh, tell the program to stop recording. So that's one way to do things. So I could combine that with another drum loop, right? So I could have that playing and that playing. And that's great and cool. But there's another way that I can input audio where I can kind of play these clips by hand. So I can assign these clips to either a MIDI controller if I have one or even keys on the keyboard themselves and play them. So it's called gate mode. So if I double click on one of these clips, down here in the bottom left hand corner, there's different launch modes. So I'm going to change the launch mode from trigger, which is the default, clicking to go on, clicking stop to go off, to gate. And I'm going to do it for both of these clips. And the quantization, which means how they're synced up to the tempo of the computer, I'm going to change it from global, which is currently set to one bar, to sixteenths. Why am I setting it to sixteenths? I'm setting each one of these to sixteenths because I want to be able to play them somewhat humanly but have them be synced up uh, and kind of correct something in my timing miscue. So if I hold that down, it's playing. If I let go, it stops playing. So holding down, let go. Holding down, let go. Great, but I want to assign these keys to actual keys on the keyboard. So in the top right up here where it says key, if I click on that, I can well, see, I've already made some designations here, so I'm going to delete these and get rid of them. I can click on a loop, and I'm going to assign it to the F key on the keyboard and this one to the G. So now, if I hold down F, it's playing. Or if I hold down G, the other loop's playing. But I still have to hit it somewhat in time. So that was late. Three, four. There we go. Synced up. Great. Cool. Wonderful. So I want to take those drums and I want to combine it with some sort of melodic element. So I'm just going to go under clips here and just search for something real quick. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Guitar. All right, let's try this guitar. So I'm going to drop this guitar over here. It's panned a little bit to the right, so I'm going to change that panning a little bit center. I'm going to put a little compression on it to make it a little bit louder. So let's try this out. Late. Great. So the guitar one's playing, but that's currently in trigger mode, meaning it's just playing. I want to put that into gate mode as well so I can have my hands on all of this. So I'm going to assign that to the A key. And I'm going to go back to the clip itself and make sure that that one is in gate mode as well and sync to 16th. So let's try this out. A. Let me take this delay off.
cool, but I'm not really a big fan of the drum loop. So I'm going to look for another one here. Let's see. Let's find something big. Oh, that's dope. Let's try that instead. So. Oh. All right, that's cool. We're going to like that. But let's make sure it gets into gate mode and 16s. So this time around, I'm actually going to get hit record at the top of Ableton here. And I'm going to try to record what I'm doing so that later on, this is capturing mode, I can edit and go back. And instead of just having drop these in and manually cut these up, I can interact with it in a physical way and later edit so that I'm not stopping the creative process. So I'm going to record up here. So, and while I'm recording, if I hit tab, I can see that all this is being captured into session view. Timing mistake there. So I had a pretty good run with it. So if I go back and look at all this, each keystroke that I hit was synced to 1 16th quantization. So it was syncing up some of my miscues and making it sound very musical and very on purpose. But also, if you hit it so wrong, like here on the back end, still correct here. The last phrase I can delete. Didn't quite work out there. But Starting from the beginning here, let me just loop this section, Command L. It's pretty cool, right? Then, now that this is all synced up to Ableton's master tempo of currently 127 beats per minute, I can mess around with the tempo, see what sounds cool. Let's try it a little bit slower. Sick. Pretty cool. So that's called Ableton Live's gate mode, and that allows you to assign things to keys or buttons or knobs or sliders on MIDI controllers. It allows you to really work with clips in a very organic way instead of just slicing it up, manually chopping things, hitting play, listening back, hitting play, correcting your mistakes. You're allowed to do this in a live environment from Ableton's uh, session view. Uh, and when you go back into arrangement view here, it really makes things a lot easier. So I think it's a really cool, unique way thing, uh, to do things. Uh, this has been a tutorial by City Rain for recordingexcellence.com, and I hope you enjoy.